We're here with Craig Miller from ProCaps Direct. Craig, uh, you guys carry the V-Force goggle line, and you've got a new goggle this year. It's been uh, a couple years since we've seen a, a fresh new design, and this is the new one for this year. What's uh, up with the grill? We're real excited about it. Um, I feel like a little kid again. We're so excited about our new product. So I will just, uh, so I can just talk regularly with you, I'll pop, pop that off. Uh, the new grill, as a mask, we've come out in quite a few different colors. Uh, white. We've got a couple of Woods Ball colors, including this one and the excessive colors, green and, and, green and khaki. Uh, we've got it in black, of course. We've got it in red. We've got it in blue. We've got it in, in a few other things that you don't see here. Um, you know, a lot of people really think it's cool looking. It's the first goggle I think we've ever made that, that looks fantastic even without a visor on. Obviously, it comes with a visor. Um, we're real famous for the thermocured lens that's, that's really been the V-Force hallmark that's really set the standard in the industry. This one has got a smaller lens. It's more inspired by uh, snowboarding and that, and that kind of sports goggles. Um, we make lenses for some incredibly famous other companies, including the U.S. military, uh, Marine Special Forces. We are now their, their exclusive optics supplier. Um, so the anti-fog coatings, the anti-scratch coatings, they continue to outlast everybody else's. The quick change feature is as fast on this as it's been on any of our other masks, but we add a new quick change feature on the grill, and it's called the, the, uh, the quick change foam. We call it click dry. neat thing about this is you're out on the field, you're playing in the rain or you're playing X ball for a long, long time or you're, you're doing what I do, which is play woods ball for maybe hours at a time. You come back, your foam is all sweaty and disgusting and stinky and it's like having a sweat sock on your face. You can just click out the foam, put in a separate set of foam, click it right back in as quickly as you can change the lens. If you want, I'll go ahead and do it right here for you. Absolutely. To change the lens on this, first thing you do is you're going to be taking out the strap, which has got simple web gear type clips right here. So you pop out the strap on each side, which then enables you to take out the lens clips, which just literally lift right out, nothing to it. You do that on both sides. But the strap clips are a locking mechanism that keep those lens clips in place. Absolutely. They're a locking mechanism that's got little teeth on them, so it bites real tight. It's, it's fantastic. It's also got your little uh, ear pads, so it's, it's a higher comfort, I think, than we've ever had. After that, the lens literally lifts right out that quickly. Standard thermocured anti-fog works as, as, as well as it ever has. Um, the next thing, to change out the foam, you grab some kind of a, something like a coin or a screwdriver or what have you. You've got these little, uh, this little lock rotator, and it's labeled lock and unlock. You just turn it 90 degrees on each side, nothing to it. Switch it over to the unlock position, and then the foam lifts right off the posts, and out comes your foam. You put that wet, stinky foam down, you take your nice, dry, clean foam out of your gear bag, pop it right back in the same way you put it, uh, the same way you took it out, rotate the clips, pop the lens right back in, put the clips in, pop the little web gear clips back into the strap, you're back on the game, you're all comfortable again, it's, it's fantastic. Now we've got when, to well, also, also when you're to the point of replacing foam in your foam, because eventually foam wears out, you're now replacing this whole IP section, not having the ratty foam underneath that you're sticking new foam on top of. Absolutely. Dealers are going to be carrying separate foam so that people who keep their mask for a long time like I do, you know, you can keep it in fresh foam every year. You can go out and you can, you know, this will be in a hang tag at, at the dealer that carries the V-Force products. Pick up a new set of foam, nothing to it. Fantastic. And now also, since that, that whole interior uh, eye shader area is coming out as a unit, what does that open up down the road for uh, future options? There will be some other options coming along. Um, for the people who wear eyeglasses and really like an incredibly breathy mask, we are coming out with a fan. It's going gonna, it's gonna to break some new ground in fan technology. It's not going to be just like a great big window air conditioner sitting on top. Um, there's some other... There's some other top secret, uh, in fact, double top secret things that we're coming out with options that I really can't talk to you about, Bill, because I'd, I'd have to be shot afterwards. A couple other little neat things that we've got, and I'll show you on the white one so you can see it most easily. There's also a readiness for a chin strap. We will come out with a chin strap option soon. People can use all kinds of web gear that they already have if you want a chin strap. Uh, this one's uh, a full flex. You know, the profiler was very flexible, but it also had a rigid frame around the outside. This one's more of a full flex type of, a, type of an affair. Yet, with the compound curves and the way it's made, it's not so flexible that it's going to slap you when you get hit. Uh, but it's a phenomenal bounce trampoline for those people that want to stay in the game that extra little bit. So that works fantastic.
the uh, the lens, the other uh, major factor I see with the lens is you've got the vertical curve that's been the hallmark of V-Force lenses since Absolutely. the beginning. You've got the compound curve uh, like the profiler. In fact, this one, because it sits a little closer to your face, we've actually almost dub doubled the thickness of the lens. Uh, this lens will will stop shotgun blasts. It'll shop sm uh, stop small caliber fire. We don't recommend you try this at home. We don't guarantee it for that. But it's been tested that way up at the, at the factory in Montreal, Canada. And by the way, another nice thing is that these are made in North America. They're not made in uh, a faraway third world country or anything like that. The optical correctness is absolutely breakthrough. Um, you know, there's some of the some of the cheaper masks on the market today. In fact, even one of the expensive masks on the market today does not have anywhere near uh, the level of optical correctness. So when you think somebody's right there, they really are right there. The, the distortion is absolutely imperceptible by human eyes. It's, it's absolutely the best that there is. Not like spearfishing on the shore where you got to no, throw two inches to the left where, where you see the fish? No, these, these have a degree of optical correctness so you don't get a headache. In fact, with regards to optics and optical correctness, uh, Jason Orvis from Special Ops was testing the mask in the, in the early design phase, one of the early prototypes, and he left the field with the mask on and he was driving down the street and got all the way to a toll booth before the people looked at him and asked him about it and he realized he still had his mask on. And I've had several people tell me, uh, with profilers and with this mask, that they've left and gotten all the way back to their camp and things like that and found out that they still had their mask on and didn't even notice it. That's the kind of comfort level that we're talking about here. And that's one of the things that, that excellent, flawless optics do for you is that you don't have something bothering you and annoying you and causing you to wish you could take the mask off. So I think we've, we've hit new benchmarks with regards to that. And we're, we, couldn't, we couldn't be happier with the way the lens is working. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Craig. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bill. Thanks, you guys. See you out there.